It's hard to miss the political ads running in the commercial breaks of our newscast. This election season, we're breaking down some of those ads to see when they're telling the truth and when they're not. Today's ad is from the Biden campaign, claiming that President Trump's tax policies would deplete the Social Security Fund. If Trump gets his way, Social Security benefits will run out in just three years from now. This ad from the Biden campaign talking about Social Security benefits is in reference to the payroll tax that directly funds Social Security. Earlier this month, President Donald Trump issued a tax holiday or a temporary suspension on the payroll tax until the end of the year in response to the coronavirus pandemic. For those who make under $104,000 a year, this means more money in their paychecks. After approving the tax holiday, here is what the president said. After I hopefully get elected, We'll be terminating the payroll tax. In a letter to Senate Democrats, the Social Security Administration said if the payroll tax was eliminated and not replaced, the Social Security Fund would, quote, become permanently depleted by the middle of calendar year 2023. Truth be told, the SSA says it was not aware of anyone proposing the hypothetical legislation. At the same news conference, the president said he wanted to end the payroll tax. He also described how he would keep Social Security funded. That money is going to come from the general fund. We're not going to touch Social Security. Social Security will be a top issue for Wisconsin voters. That's according to polling done by AARP the American Association of Retired Persons. 71% of Wisconsin voters over the age of 50 told AARP they are worried about cuts to Social Security. And 87% said if it's threatened, it's an issue that would make them more likely to vote. Think about that. 87% of people in Wisconsin agreeing on something is not something that we're hearing much about this year. Lisa Lampkins is the advocacy director at AARP Wisconsin. She says there's a lot of confusion among members as to how Social Security would be funded without the payroll tax. I think at this point, the president really needs to clarify how he would go about making this work. I mean, we need to know where is the funding coming from then? Where are these contributions coming from? Lamkin says while their members are divided on nearly all political issues this year, they're overwhelmingly united on the topic of Social Security. For Truth Be Told, I'm Charles Benson.